Hi everybody. Last week we finished our discussion on differential entropy. Now we are ready to discuss channels with input and output that take real values. This week we will cover the first three sections of chapter 11. We will discuss the discrete time continuous memoryless channel. For such a channel, we need to impose a power constraint on the input. Otherwise, the channel capacity would become infinity. It is because if there is no input power constraint, then we can use an input signal with a very large power compared with the noise and transmit as much information as we want through the channel with high reliability. After we have properly formulated the problem, we will establish the channel coding theorem like what we did for the discrete memoryless channel in Chapter 7.